an election is a process, and the processes begin with getting the referees. The major challenge that we have is not even, in my view, it's not so much the appointments committee. Because, okay, yes, in the appointments committee, uh, we, you know, can vote and so on, and eventually the majority gets to have their day, and then the minority, we, we say, okay, just like it was in Toji Kwatako, at least our voice has been heard, even though we have lost and that kind of thing. But for me, the, the bigger problem is not even so much the appointments committee. It is right from the source. A day must come when an electoral commission of a country, number one, is not appointed as it is now by a candidate, by a player, that you are going to participate in a game of football and you're the one selecting the referee. How, how do you expect that referee not to tilt the game to your side? For me, that's problem number one. That it is done that way, uh, but also that the public is kept out, you know. In some other countries, um, these things are done publicly, so the public gets to participate. Because that election is not for us leaders, it is for the public out there, it's for the people that we represent. And so that public ought to get involved, even in the vetting process, okay, to determine who gets to be an arbiter, who gets to be a referee in, in this whole situation. So for me, that's the major challenge. The appointments committee is, is only a tail end of all of this. Because you see, ultimately, whatever it is that we receive from the other end is what gets to be processed. Yeah? And even then, you can have some fairly, you know, I'll call them fairly apolitical people. You know, for example, there is an academician, somebody from civil society, and, and that kind of thing, as you have been seeing, the lists out there. And you think, okay, well, these ones maybe try and do a good job. But, but along the way, because of the preponderance of the appointing authority, you're not too sure whether people will stay the course, whether people will not, in a way, swing and begin to play to the wing, whims and fancies of the appointing authority. That, that's the major challenge. And so as a people, we, we must fight to, to, to reclaim that power. For as long as that power is captured, the fighting can only be limited. Okay, of course that doesn't mean we don't fight, that we shouldn't fight. You saw when the first list was outed, Ugandans began to make noise, there was a lot of conversation and so on, and that exerted a bit of pressure. That's why eventually the list changed along the way. So I, I'm not in, in any way trying to disregard that fighting chance that remains, even with these processes, but, but ultimately we must deal with the other situation for as long as it is still that way, that the appointing authority, who is a participant in an election, who is a participant in this game of football, or whatever the case might be, is the one that chooses who the referee gets to be, it's a problem. Of course, <coughs> legally, some things could be dealt with a particular way to say, whatever list you see out there, uh, they are not known about. But, yeah, they were out there. Um, eventually what gets to be produced as the final list, that's what is seen as the final list. That's the list, you know. So there can be a voice to say, ah, but whatever is out there on social media, we do not know it. Where did it come from? And that kind of thing. Yeah, but uh, Ugandans should know that um, their fighting spirit, their advocacy on social media and so on and so forth, it, it counts. It, it counts, you know. But again, like I'm saying, <clears throat> until we deal with the question of who gets to appoint this entire commission. That it should never be somebody who is a player, who is in the field. Because you see that person who is in the field is, 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 is too shameless that they'll even pick on people who have just come out of an election. You know, to say, ah, for me, these are the ones that I think will be neutral arbiters. But, but how? So be, because of that preponderance of power with the appointing authority of this commission, being a participant in an election, choosing who the referee gets to be, that's the problem. And that's why they can pick on anybody, you know, in, in a manner so wanton. Even what people expect, no, this one cannot happen. You get shocked and you say, <laughs> they have actually done it. 
Are we fools enough to accept NRM cadres to be in charge of national elections? Will those elections be free and fair? We've known inside some of these former members of parliament, including the other cadre who's teaching in Makerere University. So if we accept them to be in charge of national elections, we shouldn't blame the public. They will come and castigate, especially we members of parliament. I don't expect any member of opposition to go and vote these NRM, NRM cadres to be in charge of electoral commission. Because you would have had different voices if they are from different, uh, part, uh, different organs of life, we wouldn't care. But we know most of these people have been here in the parliament singing NRM songs. Even some of them were part of when we are, when we are changing uh, the constitution, the, the, when we are removing uh, age limit. Do we party? So we have, if we accept them, then we will be the celebrated fools of the 21st century. And we shouldn't blame any person who will come and blame with the opposition that we are just here in, for positions, but we don't want to change. Because I don't expect these people even to have stepped here in the parliament. When we heard that their names being read, we thought that they are going to be, to be, they are going to be in charge of NRM elections. But they cannot be allowed, despite the fact that we have some of our colleagues who are not seeing what is happening, a few of us will not allow it. We, we have so many avenues we shall use to ensure that these people will not sit in those offices. Previously, we, 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 we saw what he, Justice Biamukama did. And we, we have gone through, we lost so many people uh, because of him. Because you remember, there are so many of our colleagues who went outside there demonstrating against the results, which electoral commission read, especially presidential. And we lost so many of them. And you can't tell us that at the same time, it's the same person who has been brought back on board. We don't have many Ugandans who are, who are educated to the levels of justice Biamukama to the extent that we can only stick on one person who claims to be from the justice corners, yet is just the opposite of what he claims to be. So that's my take. I am a member of parliament. A member of parliament can, you know, can circumvent in all means. But the presidential, the presidential level, level is what matters most. In Uganda we say, yes, these are minor positions. Parliament is a minor position compared to the presidential. So for us, we can find ways how we can uh, manipulate the situation despite the challenges that might be there. But what matters most among all those positions is the presidential one. So for us, we can, we can participate. Maybe, I'm not very sure, and we may not. But what matters most among all those positions we contest in politics is the position of president. Because the president determines everything, including lives of Ugandans, including peace. So if you, for you, I know you, you are just looking at the parliamentary position because you are going to tell me that now uh, you, it, is the same it is the same people who announced, announced you when you stood in 2021. Yeah, they did, but I'm not looking at the position of parliament. I'm looking at the position of a president. Because when you're president, you determine almost all aspects of a country. Our, our committee has interfaced with seven nominees from the president. Whether they've gone through successfully or not, that's not within my mandate. It's the speaker to declare that, writing back to the appointing authority. But I would like to say that it's regrettable that you're working um, in systems that we oppose and that we are opposed to. We think a lot of things have to change on these appointments, not only with the Electoral Commission, but several, several appointments. We think a lot of things must change. Regrettably, the, the existing leadership is still adamant to changing a lot of those things. For us in the opposition, just like we've been so dissatisfied about so many appointments that have been made on several government organs, dissatisfied. But you are limited with options other people he has brought to you. So you, you vote among the ones he has given, and that's all. And he, he says he's got the right. The constitution gives him mandate. Until when the constitution is amended, unfortunately, we shall have to work as such.